Yo, what's up? Check check this out. Is this is this cool or or nah? <laughs> delay pedal I have. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Welcome. Welcome back to the Hentai Hideaway. It's Wednesday afternoon. I've not I've not heard an update from the cat scammers. I still have no full justice with my cat. And I don't know that it's coming and I'm I, I'm tempted to fucking call them back. It's, it's coming down to it. I may have to call these motherfuckers and say, Hey, I was told I would get a call back. It's now 1.17 p.m. There's, it's, not a, it's not a complicated thing to play. Just put your fucking... Put, I don't know. So no no word on the cat, people. It's, it's almost time to go to battle. Stand back and stand by. You know what's really funny is we had people... I had people reaching out saying like, Yeah, dude. I actually live around the corner from uh, that office you mentioned. Or I live in the neighborhood of the uh, headquarters that you mentioned. And if you don't know, I'm talking about the Dad Meat Patreon yesterday where we got a little bit closer to some sort of satisfaction. I've got, I got, I don't want to say shooters. What do you call it? What do you call it when it's shooters but it's just like autistic guys that are like, what do we do? I got that. Anonymous tip 420, by the way. Thanks very much. As soon as the stream went live. So this is, I mean, they have, they have until business closed today. They have until 5 p.m. And then it's war. It's, it's, it's an absolute battle. It's a dog fight. If they don't make this shit happen. But what I need is I need idea men. I need guys that have I need to, I need guys that go, hey, you know what we could do? Thank I know I'm glad we have foot soldiers. I'm very appreciative of that. But I need someone with a plan. I need someone that goes, you know how to really crush uh, a corporation that's kind of flying under the radar no one really knows about? How do we smash them? I got droolers in the cut. That's exactly right. There we go. I got waterheads out there, dude. They got itchy trigger trigger fingers because those things are dry. Dude, are you familiar with claymore mines? Yeah, we could do that. We could. It would be great. It would be great if there if there was a way to you know physically harm these people. But I I get I'm I'm thinking we'll get in trouble. I'm thinking there's no way to do that without getting in serious hot water. Tim, ever heard of the Wagner Group? Yeah, as soon as they're done with that whole thing that they're working on, let's get them involved in our shit. Bestiality scandal, that would be nice. Ooh. If I, if I got to set up like a meeting with someone high up at 24 Pet Watch and just slide a manila envelope across the table, like, look, I know you fuck dogs. We got to do something. We got to make them suffer in a legal sense. We got to legally make them suffer. And yeah, you're right. We can't blatantly attempt to manipulate the stock price. 
We can't even mandipulate the stock price. We have to go, but this has to be above board all the way through. God help them if I don't hear. I mean, here's the thing. I have I, I have to leave here at like 3.30 to get to uh, Jiu-Jitsu. Either, either it, either the call comes, either the call comes and I say thank you very much, or the call doesn't and it's, you're going to regret this. No, I have not played the Final Fantasy 16 demo yet. Is, is that on PlayStation Network? Ben can intern for them and sabotage them from the inside. Yeah, before Ben ever has to earn an income for himself, we could send him to do a, an unpaid internship at 24 Pet Watch and just destroy the company from within. Just be completely incompetent. Get them sued. I mean... I was thinking maybe we could have him like sexually harass some guys. I, I'm dealing with a business problem right now. Excuse me. I'm sorry. These motherfuckers. Oh, no. These are good people. Here's... I, I have an issue with Final Fantasy 16. Okay, let's talk video games for... Let's, let's get right into video games for the moment. So, uh... I, I got... I, I, I bought uh, PlayStation Plus like extra or premium or whatever on sale. So you get access to a ton of um, PlayStation games, which is great because sometimes I just need to pop into a random one. Now, let's take a look at what I would consider, this is, this is the, this was the last, this was the last to me, Final Fantasy that felt like a Final Fantasy. And let's see if we can, let's see if we can just spend some time appreciating what makes it that, you know? Just a moment here. So check this out. It starts with the music. There, it's whimsical. Classical. There's, there's an antiquated vibe to the whole thing. There's, there's overwrought names of locations. But there's also like a an impossible majesty and a beauty to everything. Look at the fucking airship that they're traveling on. But there's a whimsy to the whole thing. This is the this is the version that's on PSN, by the way. And look, I look, I understand that you can't really do this specifically anymore. This looks outdated and hokey. But this was the last this was the, I mean this was what Final Fantasy was. You know, you got the the guy in the hat with the like. There's a there's a comedy to this guy's design. There's like a uh, how how would I describe it? It it's there's a variance in color. Uh, the the animations may be secondary to uh, the style. Um. I mean, look at this! Uh, look at this guy. Remember this guy that was the weird swamp chef? Remember this fucking weirdo, Quina? Eating fucking slurping frogs. Look at the cut. Uh, so there's there's a vibrance and a whimsy, and this is what I always liked about Final Fantasy. And to be honest, I haven't really enjoyed it as much since this. Final Fantasy X had a little bit of it, actually. I'll give it... Okay. Final Fantasy X had this, but it was a little bit more like... It, they, they were trying to age with their player base. Do you know what I'm saying? This is your first time seeing Final Fantasy besides the game box covers. So this is pretty much it. The combat systems like vary slightly here, here and there. Um, ooh, are they about to show summon? Was that a summon that I missed it?
Look at this. This is it almost has like an, uh, an avatar quality where it's like a, a world that you'd love to visit and you know that it's impossible. This is a summon. Look at this summon attack. Very cool. So here's the thing. That's what I like about it. Now, let's fast forward to Final Fantasy 16. Uh, here's the gameplay walkthrough. I've already begun watching this, obviously. And it just is not that anymore. It's, it's all melodrama. There's no joy. Everything's great. Like, it shouldn't look like a FromSoft game, but it does. It looks like a Demon Souls cutscene. So I'm not excited for this. It, it reminds me of, uh, it's Sean Bean Simulator, basically. The combat looks kind of cool, and I guess that's important. But I need to be, I need, here's the thing. I need you to, to transport me. I need you to get a hold of my, damn, Rat Muffin tipped 20 bucks. What the heck, dude? The Lady Glitter Sparkle Fund. Oh, well, I am going to have to fucking get this kitten checked out. Thank you very much, bro. I did see the new Star Wars game coming out, and I'm more excited about that. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spell? From what I remember, the original artist did Final Fantasy IX, and then Omura did seven and ten because they did so much better. Commercially, they started doing the Twinks with Chains style. Sure. Yeah, I get that. You ever play Super Mario RPG? Yeah, but I never finished it. But now me and Fritz are kind of interested in it. So it's like, look at this world, dude. And this is early on in the game? Like, what do you... you this all comes across as very Japanese corporation design. And not like... The art, like, okay, this is a, a, a Shiva summon, I'm assuming. Cool, I like this, but look, just look how look how gray it is, man. The mag, uh, yeah, kind of cool, but this is a cutscene. Wait, I don't know. That doesn't discredit anything. It's just so gray. It's so gray and joyless. And now we're doing like generic, high fantasy, like uh, choir singing, cor choral. It's not right, man. It's wrong. This is off. Let's see if it changes, though. Let's skip ahead. Gray. You're fighting a Marlboro! One of the, like, most iconic enemies. It should be bright green. It should be spitting a bright green mist, and it's just so muted and joyless, and... There's, like, a... I saw a part in this where, like, the bad guy is, like... All, like kind of getting his dick sucked and it's like dude no oh there it is that's it look at this this is the most this is the most insane shit i've ever seen the capital will lie exposed and i doubt the crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up so before taking to the board I'm I'm as, look again. I haven't looked into it too closely because I like to go in fresh. But I'm I'm assuming the setup is that this is they're establishing this guy as either a villain or as like the muscle for a villain, and just just look at how much this resembles Game of Thrones. Which just leaves me. Oh God. The iron blood will rule the day they set foot on storm. This game is over. Great. He seems pretty evil. Everyone's in a shitty mood around him. But where's where's like Kefka? Where's like Where's like the a, a personality quirk that makes their like you cock. Vile nature. <laughs> what did she just say? You cock. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Benedict. Huh? 
take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicta. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> What the hell? The front lines are gone. And now I guess these are the good guys. And there's no change in visual tone. There's no change. And I'm sorry that I'm I'm diving so deep into this. It's just this, this fucking sucks. The chaos will conceal us. The music the music is dramatic without having any sort of uh, again, I hate to see keep saying to use the W word, but there's no whimsical flair. This is str strictly just modern fantasy melodrama. And it's like, these games are dozens of hours long. And I, I, I'm wondering if maybe, here's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if they got their brains poisoned by the Witcher. I'm wondering if they saw the success of The Witcher and they're like, that's why no one likes Final Fantasy anymore. Meanwhile, the real reason is because their games fucking suck dick. Damn it. Again, thank you for the big pre-rendered summon attack moves and moments. I just think every every design decision has, is a mistake. Every creative decision I've seen so far is a mistake. But then again, it's only the first two and a half hours. Maybe after the first three, six hours, maybe the game opens up. Maybe some levity is interjected. Maybe some joy cracks through the fucking shadow. But I don't know, and I don't know if I have time to get there. Great, I'm, I'm glad the focus was on cool combat. That's awesome. You lost the stuff that I liked about this thing, man. And I guess that's the end of the demo. So... I don't know. I like to me. To me, it's not Final Fantasy when all the music is Dominus, come on, flap, double, da, dum, 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 dum. Like that. That's corny. We already have Game of Thrones, dude. Like this was this was the starting point in the series that we this was the starting point in the series that we recommended uh, recently let's see compare that with so here's another here's another Final Fantasy game that starts that is in a similar setting it's it's you know castle fantasy first of all Charmed out of the gate, just by the music. Right? Where's a moment like this? Where you, where you go, hold on, let me stop. Let me see where they, let me let them cook on this. Now let's look at, now let's look at the, the story introduction. There we go. And they did this before you could include real instruments in a video game. I bash, exactly. Nino Cooney is doing all the whimsy. Look, you've got a, a black knight. You've got a fucking, uh, you know, dudes going to war. Well, they don't know that, but like, there's a, there's a military theme behind the music, but it's like, 
it's more than just I don't know man maybe I'm frustrated about the wrong parts of this maybe people are sick of this kind of you know presentation this kind of music but it carries through they made like 12 games in a row where it all locked together it all clicked into place look high drama look me medieval military seizure of an asset please my lord like obviously it's all conveyed in a very you know rudimentary way but they had technological boundaries and the inside of that they made great art Final Fantasy 7 remake still kept a good uh, a bit a good bit of whimsical charm but all the while doing what they want with cool battle and I agree with you 100% I think they did get there with the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh, man. And then they established, like, a little... So, Cecil, or Cecil, is sent to retrieve a crystal by the king. Uh, he thinks it's going to be no big deal. He realizes that he's actually being used as kind of a pawn to expand the power of the kingdom. And he thinks, maybe there's something up with the king, because this isn't right. He goes back to the king... He establishes, he, uh, he voices his concerns, the king dismisses him. He's supposed to be the top knight in the kingdom. Anonymous! Tip $20! What the hell, dude? Thank you! John Grip tip six ninety. Nice. What, I, what I'm hearing is that you guys want hard-hitting Final Fantasy analysis. Your Majesty, and it seems Cecil has just developed a distrust of the throne or whatever, right? This, they're, they're hitting the same... Plot points where it's, you know, medieval intrigue and, and distrust, but it's like the package is totally different. Come in, Sissel. He's punished, and then check it out. Oh, he's got his best friend, Kane, who is like, come on, man, you're fucking this up for me. The shift, dude, look at the shift in music. They're using a Super Nintendo to mimic a violin poorly, and the melody draws out. An evocative moment. And then I think he's sent back to his quarters. And in his quarters, they yeah, I think we established the the uh, romantic subplot here. Let's see. Ready? Dunbar tip 420. Thank you, brother. She's like, what's wrong? He's like, you don't know what it's like out there. I'm doing fucked up stuff and I hate it. Ooh, she's coming to your room again tonight. And then let's check out the let's check out the moment that they have together in the room, right? Dude, Cecil's moment of doubt in the castle tower bedroom. You're the only the music is faded. You're left with just the ticking the ticking clock and his thoughts. He's he's working it out in his head. He's like, what the, what the hell's up with this fucking crystal? Why is these are these were peaceful people are just chilling, and they sent me in to fucking dunk on them. Oh, dude, does the song start? <laughs> She's so concerned. She's worried. I know that you have to be a, a powerful force for the kingdom, but what's, where's our thing? What's happening to us? And he can't even, he can't even face her. the song yes come on man oh my god I'm just a spineless dark knight just a pawn of the king he's having an internal dude he's having an internal crisis he's the man and he's like there's something's not right maybe it's me 
And she's like, no, dude, could never be you. So, oh, my heart. So, no, I don't know how excited I can get myself for Final Fantasy 16. Oh, dude, and then and that's all before the prologue. So he sets out, right? Hit Cecil and his, his most trusted companion, Kane. Don't you want to go there? I want to float in this lake. So, you know, it's not a very complex story, but the themes resonate. Look at the colors, you know? Look at the, the varying look. And this is, this is the first hour, dude. Oh, dude, the, I'm sorry, actually, the underwater cave dungeon? Listen to this music. where you're wandering around an underwater like a, a, a kind of like a underwater labyrinth with flowing water you meet a, an old wizard doesn't really trust you but he's the fucking man you kind of like are intrigued about his story what's up with him he's got some nasty abilities whimsy whimsy everywhere you look look at this fucking first boss it's an octopus with a crazy Teeth face. And this is all this is all in in less time than the demo for Final Fantasy 16. We're we're getting this this varied of an experience. Oh dude, the middle of the night. You encounter a, a bard who struggles with courage. I'm just supposed to be singing, but my my precious my my beloved is ill, and then you're you're in kind of a, sim a similar situation where Rosa is is troubled, and he this guy has to learn. You know, he uses music to fight, and he has to learn how to uh, he has to learn bravery. Anyway, that's that's where I'm at. I'm sorry, guys. That's where I'm at. I'd love to do a Final Fantasy Tactics playthrough. I've never played through it. <coughs> so I'm saying, compare that's and that's like NES level presentation. And then you go to Final Fantasy 16, and it's like, what if Game of Thrones had like more magic in it? And it's like, yeah, hey, I don't know, man. It's kind of the moment has passed. the The overwrought fantasy genre, I think. Is, is going to be extremely... It's going to be outdated. It's already outdated. Man, I'm sorry. I'm in, a, I'm in a terrible mood now. That really bummed me out. And that's not... People don't even think that's the best one. There's like three games that people think are better than the one I just showed you. Tim, as someone who has never played any Final Fantasy games, what's the best to start on? Get the, I think it's on every console and PC now. Get the Final Fantasy IV Pixel Remaster. Lock into the experience that I just showed you. And, uh, like, just to enjoy the association between, like, what you're hearing and seeing and how it's all, it, it I don't know, man. I You can't separate, like, the music from, like, the, the plot or the settings. It's so fucking cool. Um... There's like actual character growth for some of these people. Like at one point, it like is a true transfer. I I don't know, man. It's whatever. That's what I think. Tim, have you ever played Shadow of the Colossus? Seems like kind of your vibe, running with an oversized sword and taking down a monster taller than the Twin Towers. Yeah, I actually I played uh, Ico or Eco. I played their first game first, and I was excited when. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus originally came out, which was probably 20 fucking years ago now. 
Yeah, those, I love those people. Have you played The Last Guardian? Where you... People know about The Last Guardian, right? Well, I, if you don't have... I tend to... I tend to assume I'm... I, I'm too into video games and that... Um, people who check out my stuff aren't as into it, but... If you never played Shadow of the Colossus, you're missing out on... Some pretty wild shit. The whole game is just massive boss fights where there's no real like dungeons to speak of the the level is typically figuring out how to actually approach the monsters and there's no level up system there's no gear upgrade well there is you know you do get like upgrades for your abilities but there's not like a level progression or anything like that But then they made a game called The Last Guardian. These guys are cool because they are, there's always like a novel twist to whatever they're doing. And in The Last Guardian, you're a, a, a kind of a weakling. I think you're an unarmed child. And you're navigating an escape from, you know, kind of a... A fantasy setting uh, and your companion is a giant uh, I guess cat dragon basically Falco Falcor Falco Falcor whatever the fucking guy's name was from the never-ending story and you sort of point him in the right direction and give him instructions and as your bond deepens he listens to you and uh, it's beautiful so check that out if you haven't these are all good video games. I guess part of my, part of my point is stop playing bad video games. Did you climb the monastery in Shadow of the Colossus? I probably climbed as high as you could go, but I don't remember how high that is. And I did enjoy, I've watched hours long videos about the uh, boundaries in Shadow of the Colossus and, and people trying to get to like hidden areas. Uh, ever play Persona? I played Persona 5. I really loved it. Been playing Trek to Yomi. Trek to Yomi I think is on PS Plus, right? Seems like a Butterly game. Okay, I'll check that out. Everyone to uninstall Call of Duty, basically. Yeah, pretty much, man. There's cool video games out there. Uninstall Call of Duty. Play Street Fighter 6. Get good at it. Challenge me. Beat me. Earn glory in the stream. Yeah, I saw the Persona 3 upgrade. I'm excited for that because I never played it. I only played Persona 5. I didn't... Some of the... Some of like the, the sexuality that Japanese people are fixated on is unnerving. I won't go so, so far as to call it immoral, but... Some of these Japanese-made video games, the, the romantic fixations sort of... Make me go, what are you guys doing? What's up? What are your favorite suspense and horror games? Mine at the moment is still my favorite, the Metro 2033 series. I never got into the Metro series. And I think I confuse it with, uh, um, God, oh, what's that fucking Chernobyl game? Stalker? I confuse those two all the time. Have y'all seen the new Armor Core 6 gameplay vid that Vati Vidya just dropped? No, but I am hotly anticipating that. I, I haven't had time to set up my PlayStation 2 emulator so I can continue my Armored Core series playthrough, but I want to be ready.
Yeah, I like the Amnesia games. Is there a Discord for gamer bubs? No, but I think I might roll it all into a, uh, a field trip in Discord sometime soon. Um, I think when I when I finally get the ball rolling with field trip, and I think I'll probably make some dedicated gamer content, and then hopefully my wife stabs me with a samurai sword, and that's the end. But yeah, keep an eye out for that. There is a dad meet Discord though, by the way. I just don't want to overrun that with my autism. I'm going to check on our Street Fighter 6 club and see if we have any new friends. Thursday. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, I get to go to. Oh man. Tomorrow we're going into a music studio to record a theme song for um, field tripping. Oh, that was a nice little reminder I just got. Ooh. Yeah. Let's fucking go. Oh yeah, I want to play the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game when it comes out. And did you see they're shutting down the um, Friday the 13th game altogether, which I thought they did a couple years ago, but... Yo, pr uh, props to the whole genre. Shout out to the whole genre of these horror games where it's like... You know, a bunch of fucking retarded people being chased around by one maniac. What a what a winning what a winning formula. Damn, look how many people we got. Look how many people we got in the Street Fighter Club. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We have 17 members! 18 including me! <laughs> Zanqueef! <laughs> wow. We're fucking... We're, our numbers are growing. Philly comedians should do a Can You Beat Us at Games Tour and it's just you playing Street Fighter, Matt and Shane playing UFC and NCAA against the audience. Uh, I mean, there was supposed to be something like this at Skankfest last year and either it didn't happen or I completely missed it. But, I, I was told they were going to have some sort of game tournament. They had arcade machines, they had Street Fighter, I didn't get to do anything cool. That would have been nice. I'm just a lowly bronze, but I'm, I'm trying my best. You need a really scary video game. So what would you, where would you go for a really scary video game? Now, I guess Amnesia is the obvious answer. I think... Um, I got a voicemail with no, with no phone call. Fuck. Let me get this match out of the way. I knew he was going to whiff. Not so fast, mister. Not so fast, mister. No! I should have thrown him. Woo! 
let's go. I have a vo voicemail from an 800 number. I have no missed call. Could be spam. Could be 24 pet watch. Ooh, he was faster than me. Oh, I thought I got over it. Fuck. Let's go. No, nice. Fucking bitch. That's right. Fight round. Fight. Come on, you can. Hadoken. 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 I'm blowing it. I'm, I got totally distracted by this voicemail. Fuck! My stupid fucking phone's not helping me at all. Hmm. Silence. Let me Google this number real quick, sorry. Vehicle warranty spam. Never mind. All right. Well, glad I got distracted for nothing and lost my fucking match. Are there taunts? There we go. No! Alright. Back in this. Let's go. I can't ignore all calls. I'm expecting a phone call from 24 Pet Watch. No problem. How do you taunt? Can I please be told how to taunt? May I? Oh no! Oh, what the heck? Where's my throw? Hey, there I am. There's daddy. Oh shit, I thought it was over.
Let's go. Let's finish it. No problem. No fucking problem. Is it all YouTube from here on out? It is for the rest of this month. Press all six attack buttons at the same time. Really? I'll try it. Um, yeah, until until I get my feet under me with uh, field tripping, I'm not really going to fuck with Twitch. Like, it just It's such an uphill battle. Even... I'm, I was thrilled with the results I got on Twitch, and it's just now I have to focus on YouTube, and I don't want to split my attention too much. So, so pardon me while I perform a little streaming experiment. You understand? Fuck you, bitch. Okay. I love that combo so much. Every time I get the fuck out of here. Woo! I feel like I'm settling in now. Don't you love that? I love how it's one motion on the stick. How did you not see that coming? How did you not see that coming? What about that? What about that? Well, no, I was... Fuck. You fucked up. She had her critical art. She... Maybe bronze is actually a pretty bad level of play, and, and this is this is what players play like at my level, and I'm like, how are you so bad at this? It's me. I'm bad at this. Yeah. It's all mental. It's all mental. Woo! I'm good at video games, let's go! Is Ken wearing full calves? Is that shoes? Fuck. Oh, that makes me hard. No. Watch out for the crit. I think that was pretty good. I think I did pretty good there. I, uh, you'll get up to silver if you just play consistently. I've stopped playing ranked to unlock everything in the single player. Dude, I tried that single player shit. It fucking sucks. That world tour mode is so boring. I even tried like playing it in the background while I was doing other stuff and it's just like completely unengaging. I might just pay for all the costumes. Okay. <laughs> Gotta do this. Come on. <laughs> Hope you're ready. Round one. Harper! Hadouken! Harper! Sonic Boom! Hadouken! Harper! Harper! Not so fast, Guile. Guile's supposed to be one of the best players in the game right uh, best best characters in the game right now.
Oh no. See? Ah, I should have comboed him. Nah, that's good enough. I, I managed that perfectly, actually. Oh, he disconnected. What a fucking pussy. Give me my points, though. What up, Dirt Gallon? Here comes a new challenger. Yeah, and then a real Ken's gonna beat my ass now. Oh, he's got the costume too. It is so thrilling winning at a game. I'm not really used to that. It's it's very, you know. Yeah, I, str I struggle with like pulling off the cooler slicker combos. It might be a motor skills issue, but how many things am I going to be able to get good at in my entire life? So I, I mostly enjoy the um, Let's go. I like the mental aspect of trying to draw out an attack and then countering it and... Oh fuck, here it goes. Nice. He's on a seven win streak. I have to win this one. This is it. Best of three. Not what I wanted at all. I was trying to do a wake up. I'm going to blow it. I'm going to blow the match. Wow. What a choke. I really choked and got perfected. Um, is Street Fighter my highest skill fighting game? Yeah, despite what you just saw. I lost focus there. Nice. Turn this around. Yeah, Street Fighter is my highest skill fighting game. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get nasty with the drive rush stuff. It just requires some studying I haven't had time for yet. Mm, I thought I could do that thing with that. Nice. Let's finish it. Let's go. Let's be good at video games right now. I ended his win streak, by the way. If 
by third strike. Yeah, I guess I would, you know, I, I, I far be, I was a hobbyist third strike player, not extremely serious, but I would say the parry and combo and counter systems are reminiscent of third strike. Yeah, I like that. I got his number. Got his number, dude. Oh, tap forward. Yeah, so it's um middle punch and middle kick. Let's you and if you time it perfectly, you'll get a perfect parry. Oh, I'm in his head. Nothing's working. That's all right. Okay. Ah! Don't big combo me. Ooh. That's Street Fighter 4 stuff. Countering the... Oh! Countering the jump in with the super. Nice. Let's go. I mean, can you simpletons even appreciate the finesse that you're witnessing? That's two in a row against the guy that was on a seven win streak. You guys even understand the artistry here? Or is this is this over your heads? Here comes a new challenger. I'm too nasty now. Nah. <laughs> oh, it's a grab. That's a lot of damage. No, no, dude. He only needs to hit you three times, and your health is gone. All right, let's change our strategy. No! That was close. Yeah, suck me. Woo! The jump in Tatsu. I had to bring that one home for you guys. You guys, you guys deserve that W. Dude, get into it. This is, I think this is pretty beginner friendly because all the, all the systems are like combined from old games. Like, uh, if I was just a little bit faster there, no. Uh. Oh, I didn't know that was gonna happen. Fuck. 
It's just so much damage. If he gets a hold of you, it's so much fucking damage. Oh, excuse me one second. Hello? Hi, this is Tim. Yeah! Thank you so much for calling me back. Okay, well, uh, I certainly appreciate you, uh, you know, just, uh, maintaining contact. No, that's, uh, I, I, I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much. Well, I'm always here. Thanks, you as well. Take care. Well, there's your update. Took me off my game, but there's our update. I don't know. Were you guys able to hear that? Oh, fuck. 20% of my health. Fucking man grab bullshit. Well, man, deep. You couldn't hear any details. So, she had nothing. She had no update for me. Uh, but she wanted to just call me to maintain contact. And I said, I appreciate that. Oh, you guys heard my half of that. And I said, yeah, that does actually go a long way with me. Thank you very much, man, deep. So, very fucking cool. AK X Yaro. Fifteen dollars. Thank you very much. Zangief does so da so much damage. That's nuts. LOL. It always feels like he's about to take your butt. Yeah. Yeah. Your cheeks are in danger with Zangief. I guess. I guess. Ooh, that feels nice. Game volume is too loud. Yeah. So no update. She's just, uh, she's just going out of her way to maintain contact. No, we don't need to extract this cat. She's got a happy home. She's got a good life. We need to demand satisfaction for Twilight. That's the distinction I want to reiterate. Here comes a new challenger. 24 Pet Watch has wronged me, and we're demanding satisfaction. The family who's now lovingly caring for this cat, who is a beautiful soul, um, I'm indifferent towards. Oh, I thought that made be contact. Oh, was she throwing the round? I've heard of people throwing the round to build up uh, fucking things. So now she's got the three P symbols. Is that what it is?
No! Oh, no challenge whatsoever. Are we on a streak yet? I feel like I'm doing really well. Two win streak. No, she didn't have time to do that. Get out of my face, dude. Get the f get out of here, dude. Manon is the pre is the one who throws a fight, dude. Thank you so much, just to the the pros in the chat who've been a, a guiding light in this fucking game. Did that fireball hit too? Kind of, kind of just eating right now. The longer your streak, the more points you get for ranked wins. That's terrific news. I'm feeling hot right now, man. Oh yeah, Sean Farley. I, yeah, if I'm holding anybody out, I, I'd hate to feel like I'm dragging anyone away from anything. I'm just trying to have a good time on the internet right now. Joking around about stuff, being nasty as Street Fighter. If you got something to do, dude, please don't let me hold you here. I mean, Lord knows I gotta get to the fucking gym. What's up with you guys? Hey, I made some uh, I made some progress yesterday in getting um, my first string of headlining shows booked. Now, will I have enough money left over after making field tripping to even be able to afford the travel to these shows? Hopefully. No, oh, that's a devastating ass move. Hey, that's a good dub. Paying invoices, trying not to fall asleep. Yeah, it's boring. He's got something up his sleeve. He's about to cook me, I think. Here comes the crit. That that run-in kick is 
I mean, you get more out of it than you'd expect. About to make some fried rice, eggs and bacon. Damn. Now, are you putting an egg in this fried rice? Dude, I got fried rice from a uh, takeout place last week. It was literally just fried rice. No egg. No little bits of fucking cheap pork. Nothing in there. Just seriously greasy rice. And it just made me go like, what are you guys doing over there? You think no one's going to notice that shit, man? There should be little fucking floating bits of green shit in there. Little unidentifiable herbs and stuff and... What do you think, I'm a fucking idiot? Come on, jump in. Nope. Is this guy even fucking trying? Is throwing matches a thing? How am I getting this much on him? Are, you, are people smurfing in this game? Or throwing? I wanted to do my super. Damn, I'm starving. It's a five-year-old kid. Well, then maybe I'm not supposed to be bronze. Maybe I am supposed to be silver. Maybe it's time to fucking rank me up, dude. Yes, yeah, yeah, straight bean sprouter. Pe yeah, like something fell in. Oh, a rank up opportunity. Let's go. This is it. Do or die. Oh, fuck. Become who I'm meant to be. No! That's nice. No! Yeah, my health! But not... But not good enough! Ooh, too late on the throw. Crushing. Oh! God, that's so bad. Oh, it's so bad! That's so bad! Got my truck running for the first time. What kind of truck do you have? Is it like a cool old truck? Devastating. Let's keep it up. Let's not blow it. Ready? Jump in. Throw. No! He got the throw first! The running kick. The rush in teep to the belly. Sneaks past him every time. Oh, come on. We're still bronze? Are we just bronze four? How many fucking bronzes are there? And he quit. He said that's enough. No, thank you. Oh, another rank up opportunity. What the hell does that mean? Damn. Oh, fuck. I never know what he's throwing. He's 
It's gonna be tough. I gotta hold on here. No, fuck. Play cool. Be cool. Pretty, pretty nice stuff. From the Denim Destroyer. He is a Patriot. It is an honor to lose to a guy like him. Let's get that one back then. Do you save that for the end of the round? I feel like I... Spend those in the middle of the round, and I don't see other people doing that so much. He got too hungry. He tried to eat, and I snatched his lunch out of his hand. Where's the flash kick? I haven't seen any. Nice throw. Nice air throw. No, here he goes. Sorry. Sorry. Now we're bronze five. Let's play it again. Let's run it back. Seeing? What? What? No! Sorry. Sorry. All you gotta do is stop me. Guile could have stormed the capital single-handedly. That's actually one of his secret endings. Although, wouldn't he be more likely to be one of the feds? Oh, nice and slow. What? I was a million miles away! Ooh! Threw it! They hate the throws, dude. They hate getting pushed in the corner and then thrown around. We made it to silver. Let's go. Looks like I have to learn how to fight my battles on my own terms again. And that's, I mean, that's me. This is nuts. This is the toughest, this is the tightest run I've, I've gone on in this game so far. Give me another Zangief. Let me chew another one of these guys up. I gotta buy the costumes, dude. I just realized Ken's got his karate belt around his arm.
I don't like this guy's lag. Oh no, we right into it. Ah, my health. Is this your Zangief? That's right. Does anybody else want an old... I want an old white Bronco. Ford Bronco. Obviously not a horse. Oh, man. I got him thinking now. He does. He has no idea what's coming. Oh shit! Ooh, I thought that was a cross. And there goes my health. Brute hell. That's me. Let's end it. Devastating critical art. So when your health goes below like 25% or something like that, your level 3 super becomes your critical art. You get that extra punch at the end. And he quit. What the heck? No one wants to play me. Yeah, exactly like the juice. I think those trucks look cool. And then you go, yeah, just like OJ. It would be worth it. Maybe get it lifted. Rank up opportunity again? I'm on fire. Gotta do this. Round one. Fight. Mm, nice. I didn't think you could combo into those though. What for? Right into it. That's yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, wrong way. When you play Ken, you got to get nasty at cross-ups. That hurts. That hurts. Can I bring this home? Okay. Let's let's wrap this up. Cat story from the last few Patreons has been super fun to listen to. I wasn't even mad to be on hold for half an episode. Nice. Suck it. That's not touching me. I was just toying with him there. Sorry, I was goofing around. Wasn't even mad to be on hold for half an episode. Also, the T-Swab. Oh, shit. 
Oh fuck! I yeah, I need to. I need to. Well, I need to make progress in the case of the found backpacking. I swear to God, I was. I missed my calling as the world's greatest detective. Two throws. Can I do three? I think I was connecting more. I'm gonna throw him twice, ready? Oops, all throws. <laughs> oh man. I'm in his head. I'm in his motherfucking head. Oh, and I can still hit the crispy ass combos. The confusion into the throw twice. Nah. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry I had to do it to him. Regrettable. That's regrettable stuff. My bad. I'm sorry, Cosmic. That was that was not nice stuff. Ooh, no. I always lose to new characters. I never... I never spend the time to learn anything. Ooh, another level up opportunity. Let's go. Gotta do this. Don't try that shit on me. Ooh, nice throw. Okay. I like throwing out the light, sure you can, followed by the heavy. The first one whiffs, they rush in, the, he the heavy one hits. I'm too locked in right now. I'm too locked in. Yeah, FTK, uh, yeah, yeah, um, some sort of drive uh, recovery. Actually, the drive is in pretty good condition. The SD card that I found in the river is not in bad shape. It. All, you can read some files on it without doing any repairs, but I am going to run some sort of um, drive recovery software on it. Whatever I can pirate at the time is usually the answer. Block everything. Watch what happens. Whoa, where's my throw? I tried to throw my super during that and it just didn't come out and it's because I'm not very good at the game. Two throws? Ooh, nice. Let's bring this in. Let's get it. Let's get it done. Well, that's not what I wanted to do at all. My streak, my 11 win streak comes to an end. I got finessed by the spray paint girl.
doing vandalism. Let's move on. Let's move on from Street Fighter after this match. There it is. Finally. Oh, go oh shit. <sighs> Final Fantasy X is GOAT. To revisit the conversation from earlier. I, dude, if I was the right age, Final Fantasy X would be my favorite Final Fantasy, I bet. Couldn't have made that any more obvious. Yeah! Best of three. Oh, I guess I have to give it back. I gotta, I gotta run it back one more time, and then we can. Let's move on from this. Chun Weave. <laughs> no, that's bad. <laughs> Don't say Chun Weave. <laughs> I'm not even doing real combos. I'm just fucking around on people, and I think it's actually that's probably the most frustrating part of my game. You just don't want to get perfect. Oh, I accidentally do big moves all the time and get punished. Oh, yeah? Weird. I never, I, I, I guess I don't really understand like the timing of that like, what's that called? The drive crush or something? Kind of a stretch, but okay. Fuck. Fuck. I have my critical art and everything. That's all right. I wasn't close enough. Trying to do a super.
I'm the champion. That's champion universe stuff right there. Silver two, all the way up from bronze three to silver two in one stream. Let's call that. Let's call that rank matches for the day. All right, gang, where are we at? How are we doing? And I don't want. I don't want you guys to think I'm a braggart or anything, or that I think I'm the shit. I'm just saying, like, the proof is in the pudding. We've got documented evidence of me being a just a a phenomenal motherfucker. When doing the triangle R1 combo, as soon as you press R1, press drive crush. It doesn't work if it connects because the opponent goes in the air. Mm. Mm -hmm. So that's the punch punch before the sure you can, right? So I go I go punch punch drive crush. And then if they're blocking, I guess that's probably the point where they'll start to counter, and now I'm waiting for it with the Drive Crush, I guess. Yeah, I'm, well, <clears throat> regarding the soundtrack of the day, we have to get creative to get around YouTube's more strict copyright shit. And I think, uh... PlayStation 1 soundtracks are the way to go, obviously. This shit's nice as hell. Man, I was trying to think of like, um, I was thinking about what's going on in the world today. And uh, even just on the front page of, like, let's go CNN.com. Let's, let's take a look. Let's, let's, let's take a quick look at what's going on. Kind of want to make a point here. I was just thinking, what's, what, what do people want to hear about? What do people want? If I'm if I'm gonna be fucking nonstop talking, what do people want me talking about, right? And let's just bring up one more. Um, I thought, wouldn't it be okay? Be okay if I just took a look around and, and saw. First of all, do you guys know Jared Fogel's only doing 15 years in prison? Where's he at? Damn, we're only we're less than six years away from Jared being out of prison. I don't know what the pro this. I think I saw a tweet or something about a guy that's been claiming to uh, punish Jared in prison. Jared's earliest scheduled release date is March 24th, 2029, according to the FBI, uh, Federal Bureau of Prisons Online Records. At that time, he'll be 51 years old, which is crazy because that, for a pedophile, that's your sexual prime. 51-year-olds, they're letting him out. They're letting him out at his peak. It's going to be, he's going to be an absolute werewolf. I think he gets out, instantly starts getting into the, the Padawans. And ends up in his police standoff. I'm saying like a month after release. I thought he was in there forever. Do you think? Do you guys think Jared went white supremacist in there? You don't have a choice. Whoa, dude. Jared Vogel. Subway Jared Fogle speaks from prison. I royally screwed up. That's so... What a funny way to put that. Jared Fogle speaks from prison. I really fumbled the bag. Y'all, it's time to come clean. I fumbled the bag. What a, what a great way to phrase that. You know, I really goofed. Damn. 
If I was in prison with Jared, I would plump him back up. If I was, let's say I'm your average prisoner, um, and, oh, you can't see his head in this photo from there. That's easier, but let's go over here. How's that? Huh? Or, you know what we could do? Bam. That's it. That's the ticket. They won't let him out. They have hearings for people like him in the last year of their sentence and determine them ongoing threats to the community or something like that and put them in institutions. Mm. Probably for the best, but if so, let's say okay, let's do a little, let's do a little bit of a um, a mind warp. Let's say I'm in prison, and um, I don't want to, but you don't have a choice in 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 real prison. You have to link up with your race. So I get in there, I'm instantly with the white supremacists. Against my against my wishes. I have to survive. I have to worry about surviving myself. Okay? Everyone else, I'm number one. Everyone else comes second. I go to prison. I'm going, yeah, dude. Tattoo my head. I don't give a fuck. I have to survive this. Now, Jared shows up. And maybe, you know, I don't follow the news. I don't kind of, I kind of don't, I, tr I try to pride myself on not really being emotionally moved by the big news stories of the day. And so Jared shows up and I go, ah, yeah, I think I heard about all that stuff. That's, that's yucky. I hate that stuff. I don't like it. And so I run his papers just because that's what you're supposed to do, right? Uh, you're supposed to, you're supposed to check them on the way in. And I go, hey, look. Welcome to welcome to the bunk. Welcome to the cell. Listen, I don't really care. Like the shaved head thing, not me. I don't even like the shape of my head. I think this is kind of a just a survival thing. The white power stuff, you know. Yeah, I try to get excited about it in the kitchen and stuff and you know, I'm I'm barely doing the minimum. But if you're going to be staying on this block, I got to run your papers. So Wait, well, let me see what you did. And I go, ooh. Kids, huh? Well, and I, and again, I don't care, but I kind of have to fucking kill you. Or at the very least, sexually humiliate you for your entire sentence. And I know, I know it's really yucky stuff, but I'm trying to survive. And so the what I would the the solution I would come up with is I would fatten him back up I'd say hey look I'm not really into the food here anyway and so I, most of the snacks that I get outside of like you know the, the calories I need to live I'm gonna need you to eat them and I've actually got some other guys going in also with me I'm we're we need you to put that weight back on and I and I hate to do it because I really don't care I don't get involved in other people's business. The, the wider world out there doesn't really interest me. I just like my friends and family and video games, but I need you to get fat as fuck so I can titty fuck you and beat the shit out of you every night. And I hate to do it. I just need to get you back up to 300 pounds and I need to titty fuck you and beat your fucking face in every night. I'm so sorry about this, man. That's what I would do. And every night I'd just be titty fucking Jared Fogle and like smashing his head on a, on a steel toilet seat. And I'm going like, ah, this sucks, dude. I don't even, I don't even get wrapped up in this kind of thing. It's just here we are. And I, you know, I got to look out for me. So, um, uh, I need to fuck you again. Oh, I hate it. I, I hate fucking this big fat guy that I'm torturing every night. I just need to survive in prison. So, um. You know, pull your pull your pants down. I'm gonna fuck you now. <laughs> I've watched enough prison YouTube to know that this is how it goes, man. <laughs> Tim's playing from Subway to Chubway. Connor Howard, you're in timeout, dude. Don't don't fucking do that. Don't play around like that in here. Oh, I have no power in the chat because I'm in OBS. You got lucky, dude. I almost had to fucking fatten you up and titty fuck you. 
and I'd be I would be doing like white power shit while titty fucking Jared Fogel and smashing his face, and I'd just be like, man, I can't believe I got that DUI. This really fucking sucks. Nate, oh, Nate, we linked up. Yeah, my theoretical year inside of prison for a DUI. Yeah, and then I hopefully I get out, or in, if he snitches on me, obviously I have to fucking stab him or something. But yeah, let's let's take a look at what they let's see what they care about on the news. So let's see. This is probably thirty percent of the page is just the word Trump over and over again. Um, it's all kind of the same thing, but they're presenting it as like, let's see, it's a bolded point thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're treating this like it's six different things plus a headline. So seven things. And then actually, no, this is the headline. This is a subhead. So they're treating this like it's eight different things. It's just one story. Um, Starbucks says it fired her for an quote unquote absence of leadership. She says it's be it was because she's white. A jury agreed, awarding her $25.6 million. All right, so racial distress. Um, this this is like a... You could print this every day. The Fed holds rates steady, pausing its rate hiking campaign. It's like, that's not even real. Anytime you hear a story about the Fed, it's just like... I mean, come on, man. No, no, None of us have any money for this to even, like, matter. You tell... Oh, so... Groceries and rent are going to continue to cost my entire paycheck. Cool, man. Might as well be the same story for 40 years in a row. And then they have five articles about that. What's Fox News up to? Oh, by the way, this happened in Philly. The Starbucks thing. This was in Philly. Um... She worked for Starbucks for 13 years, managed a region of stores in the area that's Philadelphia. And, uh, damn, 25 mil. I like that. Um, what had happened was she got fired because two, uh, black entrepreneurs were having a meeting in Starbucks without buying anything, I think. I could be misremembering. Maybe this is actually covered in these paragraphs. Alleged discriminatory conduct which she knew was inaccurate and she tried to defend the employee. So what, yeah, so what happened was two dudes trying to use the bathroom. She said customers only. They went, oh, cause we're black. And then they fire her. And she was like, that's not what happened. This, this regional director goes, that's not what happened. And they went, whoa, dude, firing you actually would probably make us look pretty brave right now. And damn, 25 mil. Anyway, I guess good for her. Now, if that was me, I would have probably just let them use the bathroom. But at the same time, I don't care. This is the type of stuff that I ignore until I'm just having sex with Jared Fogel in prison to punish him. And then, and then Biden's pride. They're covering other news. I, we do need to get back into like the news stations diss tracking each other constantly. That might be fun. But man, oh man. Imagine, uh, just feel, spare, spare, spare a, a, a thought for the young people that like have to kind of like competitively give a shit about this stuff to maintain social standing. I think that's the point I want to make right now. Like, thank God we have each other. Thank God for us. The where we get to just scroll past this and go like, damn, dude, they really want me to be upset about all this stuff. And I couldn't care less. But I know that people even 10 years younger than me are living and dying by giving a shit about this and, and having the biggest reactions to it. Actually, you know, I know older people older than me doing this too. And that's like the saddest shit in the world. And it's just like, you know, thank God I'm retarded, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. Every morning I wake up, I look at my wife, I go, oh, thank God she's still real. I didn't imagine all this. I take a deep breath and I go, man. Thank, thank God I get the next time I look at my phone, it's for me and not for, you know, whatever fucking diabetes medicine manufacturers are paying to put in front of me to give a shit about.
Shark Tank star hits back after Mark Cuban claims going woke is quote unquote good business. Oh man, good good and evil, right? This is a showdown for the ages. And then you click that, and you go, well, it is it is good business. Or you look at that and you go, I hope they fucking fail, dude. I'm so sick of the woke agenda. Mm -mm. Get good at Street Fighter. Don't get good at opinions. Get good at Street Fighter and prove yourself in the arena. Or get a DUI without injuring anybody and go to prison and force Jared Fogle to put on 140 pounds and titty fucking. Short of that, it's like, don't bother me, man. It's like, get the fuck, get the fuck out of my face. But you know, you guys don't need me to tell you that. You, you, this is all, this is all immediately apparent to you, and no, no one's tripped up on this shit. With that all being said, our time is coming to an end, and I just want to thank you guys for spending a little bit of uh, nonsensical time with me. I would have been sitting here in my basement playing Street Fighter 6 anyway, and it means a lot to me to have some friends along for the ride to goof around with. Jonathan Stevens just joined the FG Army. Hell yeah, yeah. Get to Street Fighter 6, join our club, FG Army. Get nasty at the game. And we, we, we haven't even started doing Street Fighter 6 streams yet. Where do we get these big ass custom rooms going? Where do we get tournaments going? Where do we get tour where do we get an official field trip in Street Fighter 6 tournament going with like prizes? Yo, are you fighting Lewis? Did he say that? What's today? Wednesday? Did he say that? I'm gonna have to call that motherfucker. I think I'm doing Legion of Skanks on Monday. Let me go ahead and confirm that. That would be a nice time. A little Father's Day edition. Legion of Skanks. No, not Dabby. Just me. Mike can't make it. Well... Okay, I'm, I'm, if there's one thing Lewis is good at, it's teasing a fight, so... I'll just be happy to be at Skankfest. I'll get ready just in case. How's that? All right, gang. This has been a blast. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the tips. And uh, I'm sure I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll say this. I'm sure I'll fight somebody at Skankfest. I had a lot of fun in that pinata match, and I've been saying I want to do it. Maybe I'll do another pinata match. But my hands will be ready. Thanks for everything, guys. I will see you, uh, as, well, not Sunday morning. I'll be away for field tripping. Fuck. Just pay attention. Wait for the bad signal. We'll do more streams. I love you guys. Thank you for everything. See you later.